Hi, hello, welcome. Thank you once again for joining me. I am Bev from Inkwell and today marks the beginning of Black History Month. Um, it is the 1st of October and therefore I wanted to share with you some ideas behind artwork that we could be doing this month to celebrate Black History Month. So, I thought we'd look at masks first um, and then next week we're going to look at something else. So keep watching throughout the month if you want more ideas. Um, this week we're going to look at making some magic scratch paper um, and exploring masks. So, you're going to need some plain paper, something that's fairly thick. Um, you're also going to need a bunch of crayons. I've chosen rainbow colours. Um, you're also going to need some black acrylic paint and a paintbrush. And then you'll need something to scrape the, the picture into the paper. But we will come to that in a bit. All right, so first things first, we are going to create, well, I'm going to create a rainbow on my paper, um, depending on which colours, how many colours you've got, how many you've chosen, will depend on what you're going to do with your paper. Um, so, um, I am just going to crayon in some different coloured stripes. Okay, so I've got my piece of paper nicely covered there and then you need to go ahead um, and get your paintbrush and your paint <clears throat> and cover the whole piece of paper with the black paint. And when you've painted your piece of paper you want to leave it somewhere to dry. So while your piece of paper um, with the paint on is drying, um, you'll need to start thinking about what type of mask you would like to draw on your scratch paper. Um, now, originally the African tribal masks were worn by tribesmen um, to um, celebrate certain things or try and get the spirits to help them with certain things um, and I guess depending on the tribe would depend on who wore the masks and what they would use them for as well. Um, so go ahead and do a Google search, just type in African masks and a whole array of masks will come up. Um, I've just put some pictures in here for you, just uh, for a little bit of inspiration um, and a little bit of information about the masks as well. So have a look at that um, and then I'll come back to you and we'll draw our masks together. Once your paper's dry then, it's time to draw your mask, so whatever it is that you've decided, um, just go away and use your scratching tool to scrape off the paint that you've put on here. Whoa. And there we have it, my mask, which is animal based. Um, yeah, I mean, you could go with animals or people or whatever you want. It worked really well. It's come off where I wanted it to. And I hope yours has worked as well as mine has. 
all right guys take care of yourselves um like i say we're gonna do a bit of a run for the black history month with um sort of african-based artwork and crafts so please join us again soon and take care of yourselves until then bye